Hello guys, this is Tina. In this video, I'm gonna continue on one to many bidirectional relationship. And uh, sometimes uh, by default, when we're using one to many bidirectional relationship, it's gonna using join column. Okay, but sometimes we want to using join table. How to do that? Very, very easy. If you already know many to one how to use the many to one uh, do the uh, join table so i have the thing already set up like uh, from the last uh, video this one to many have a mapped by to solve the two unidirectional issue and uh, then hibernate gonna use many to one to create the join table for us right in this case we have to by default is a join column okay by default is join column so if you want to using join table how to do that force it to using join table and you can give a table name the same as uh, when we talk about uh, many to one unidirectional join table like a person id and uh, we have a join column and you can give a join column and you give a name for it which is uh, address id and then you also have a inverse join column and here we can specify for what's thing we can specify for person id Okay, so when we run, it won't create a join column. Instead, it's gonna using join table. Easy, right? So let's take a look at, okay, take a look at, take a look at. Oh, pretty slow. I want to like run and immediately it's gonna create everything, okay. So here, as you can see from the SQL printed on the console, it has a three table created address, person, and person ID. Oh my God, I, I made this one not good. I should be using address, person address. Uh, it's not a good name to have a table called a person ID, right? Let's run one more time. Okay. A little bit hot here. Okay, see here we have a three table address person and person address. And a person address is a join table has two column person ID and uh, address ID. Okay, see, let's take a look at this one. Here, oh sorry, not here. This one, and I refresh here. You will see. Uh, this one is because the first time. Okay, the first time I have a, we have a table person ID, right? We can drop it. It's not be created because of uh, it's wrong. Okay, we have address, and we have a person. Okay. Oh sorry, I correct. I click the wrong one. Okay, we have address. ID straight zip code and I have a person, person ID, first name, last name, and we have a join table, person ID and address ID. Okay. So uh, if you understand the one to many by directional join column for join table is pretty easy. Just force it to using join table. Okay. So that's it for this video and thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.